if someone has um, a 5.7 and they're like, you know what, I think I want to do a, a 392 stroker kit, or you have the option to just get a scat pack or... or do It does. <laughs> so you said it's long tube headers into a what? Borla attack. Borla attack. Yeah, I'll tell you. Top low cast. So, yes. Yeah, That's loud. Yeah. That's loud, loud, man. man. I, I, I keep telling people, man, don't get, don't fall too in love with <laughs> scat packs and Hellcats. You can make a really nice car with a five seven. here with me if you're new definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button I really do appreciate it now today we're gonna to be meeting up with a challenger owner Mopar mods and we're gonna see what his impressions are with some of the upgrades that he's done now if you live in the Florida area definitely shoot me a message on Instagram or even drop a comment and we could probably meet up and I could show your build off on this channel one of my favorite things to do with this channel is show off what the other uh, owners out there are doing with their ride uh so you know what let's get into it guys all right so this is a nice little sleeper going on here you know yeah, you got the one. the side badges nobody knows what the hell is going on with this thing <laughs> yeah that was the that was the concept of it to uh make something a little bit different but people won't really notice it you know so what what year is it it's a 2013 challenger uh it started out as a base model uh with the base 57 the motor was blown so I did you to, blow it? Or nah, did you, I okay. Got it blown. I tell everybody it's a junkyard motor. So I had an option. It was either it was rip it out, rebuild it, make it back stock, or the builder Mark is he's in Brooksville. He said I can you know I can turn it to a 392 stroker. He said it costs you like twice the price. I'm like well shit that's still a good price. You know I'll take it. Fan bottom in everything's forged. Uh, when I first got it built, like I was telling you before, when I first got it, the only thing I had done was a motor. So. I was having fueling issues because I had put the 6-1 uh, manifold on it. And I guess catch the camera came off. But I had the, uh, yeah, I only put that on there and then I had 6-1 injectors. Okay. So when I did the first uh, dyno pulls on it, I was running into my duty, duty cycle issues because we we're we we're maxing it out. We we're doing we we're doing the best we could. My tuner, Brett, uh, he's with the tuning school in Odessa. Uh, he's a beast. He put a modest tune on it just so the car, I could drive the car, be drivable but we went and overexerted or risk running lean on it. Uh -huh. So since then, um, I've done bigger injectors. Uh, so what size 5, did you go with? 535. Okay. Did you upgrade the pump? Dual pump, four innovations, dual pump. Okay. Same line, stock lines. Uh, also, we were running into transmission issues, uh, torque converter issues. You were bogging or out or something? Yeah, we we're bogging out. And then we were, we were killing the rev limiter. So I got a... Um, I had Ding Racing. They built me a torque converter for the car. I sent them the dyno sheet. What kind of stall is it now? Uh, I think it's a 3500 stall, I believe. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay, yeah. so that that you uh, could launch this thing probably like uh, a, a bat out of hell, right? It's a beast, bro. Yeah. Uh, Sunder Hot Rod Transmission, Nag One from those guys. They were great. Um, yeah. So really, you're you're gearing this thing up for forced air. Exactly. So my so the issue I was having was trying to figure out what I want to do. So my tuner, I told him, I'm like, I think about going Whipple. He said, well, I think I think that you should go a Pro Charger. So I'm like, okay then. But then I saw um, Tor uh, Torque Storm. Okay. So I was kind of on the fence. I'm like, do I want to do Torque Storm? It's budget friendly and it's supposed to be a budget build or do I want to go Pro Charger? I was looking for like 650 wheel. Cause I wanted- And the Torque Storm's fine. And it, the Torque Storm would do it, but I also wanted room to grow if I had to change my mind later. Before you put 
Forced Air, what are you at right now? Like what with the bolt-ons, with the, the 392 stroker, what do you ballpark? What are you thinking that you're at? Now, when I first dynoed it, it dynoed it about 385 wheel, um, but that was just the motor. Now I haven't had it re dyno but but the butt dyno is telling me probably about maybe about 430, 440 wheel. Okay. I, I'm I'm thinking with the tune that's on it right now. Have you now. been able to take it to the drag strip or anything like that? No, nah, I'm afraid to because I don't have axles, none of that stuff. So for now, it's just a, it's street, basically it's a, a, a mild street tune. Yep. But it still sounds really aggressive. It's a rowdy car. Like it, it when I when I hit the gas, it gets down. So, you know, my plan is, like I said, throw, <clears throat> throw some force induction on it, do some suspension work so on it. So backpedaling a little bit yep. here. So you bought this RT with a blown engine. Yes. Then you had um, a company uh, take the blown engine, put a 392 stroker in there. Yep. So it's forged internals, forged everything. What, like, do you mind telling us how much something like this ends up costing? I got a really good deal on my build. The guy, uh, Mark, he built the motor for about six grand. Oh, that's great. Uh, oh, it was, it was crazy. It was a crazy deal. I couldn't pass it up. Uh, Pat LS Motor Works, he did all the work. He did the install for me, uh, put long tubes. I got uh, stainless works, long tubes on it. Um, Borla Attack is also on it. He installed everything, bro. He gave me a crazy deal. I don't want to out him because I don't know if he just <laughs> happy with me, likes me, but he gave me a crazy deal on the install. But with the motor work and install, probably about seven grand in with that. Dude, that's phenomenal. Yeah, bro. That's a no brainer. No, nah, no. And then I, so the, what I built this car for, the concept of it was one to be kind of sleeper, a little bit different, and I wanted to build like a something that compete with a Hellcat because that's okay. my dream car. But the prices are way too crazy right now. Oh, the Hellcats are a used one. You're talking sixty five, seventy thousand dollars now. For sure. And I watch you, Motor Red, Hemi, uh, Mac build. That's that. I, I love Mac build. Oh, Mac is crazy, Mac is right? Dope, bro. <laughs> I, love, I love him so much. He's great. He's so honest. I put Hellcat seats. Oh, he it. just calls it like it as it is, you know, yeah, like whether it's good, bad, whatever. He doesn't doesn't give a shit. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh yeah. Hellcat uh, seat swap in it. Swap I like it. Wiring harness. The car's name is uh, Chadwick. I'm a big uh, Black Panther fan, so purple and black is the theme. What's going on here? Oh, I got some music in there. Okay. A little twelve inch, just something a little thump. Uh, I got uh, Lauren Springs on it. I got coilovers for it. Just haven't put them on yet. Uh, and I'm trying to do. I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do suspension wise. I'm thinking BMR. I'll go with some of their stuff. So have you driven a, a 392 at all? I have. Is there a huge difference between the two of them? In your opinion, in do you my, feel like if opinion. someone if someone has um, a 5.7 and they're like, you know what, I think I want to do a, a 392 stroker kit, or you have the option to just get a scat pack or or I would do, I would do this. You would do the stroker because over. It gives you way more options. You're going to and you want to worry about blowing the motor up. You know, with the scat packs, you can't really you can't put any boost to them. I mean, you may be if, like you can cautiously put maybe six pounds of boost to it, and it's not any fun like that with this. If your ring gaps are good, you can go pretty much crazy. Even with a stock 5.7, I tell guys back, I'm in Tampa, I say, you can get a regular RT, get the motor pulled apart, just do a refresh on it, make it nice and clean, gap your rings right, throw a pro charge on it, and... and you could you could drive it without worrying about it. And you're going to put down some good power. So, yeah, this is what I would tell them. I would tell them to do this. All right.